Black Rock Brewing is a landmark microbrewery right here in Pottsville. They not only offer an array of great beers and food, but they also give a nod to the fine coal mining heritage of this region. Well, we're excited to be here in the kitchen at Black Rock Brewery, and this is the kitchen manager, Danielle Woodford. Danielle, you guys do some really cool things here, some really unique foods. Tell us about it. So here at the Black Rock Brewery, we have actually pretzel logs as our featured item here. So we can do anything stuffed into a pretzel, or we do have some plain pretzels for people who might have different kind of bellies or just want something simple, Absolutely. which we complement with our homemade beer cheese. Oh. Seems to go with so many things. But we do have also a big variety of stuffed pretzels from a buffalo stuffed pretzel. We do a kabasi stuffed pretzel, which we're going to do for you Ooh. here today. <laughs> and then any kind of featured stuffed logs. Awesome. Well, let's get started because this Jump is right fun. in. All okay. right. I'm going to take my little pre-portioned dough that I have right here. Mm -hmm. We start early in the morning with the dough to make sure it's ready. We do like to source everything from local farms. Mm -hmm. um, Honeybrook Farms was featured in our Oktoberfest. And our kibasi here is from Copalenix, locally up in Shenandoah. Nice. Yeah. So once I have that rolled out to a nice width and length that I like, I just square it off. It's going to be about six inches over in length. And then we have to have enough space so that way we can Loaded fill it up. in with everything. Yeah. So <laughs> right. I always like to put my cheese on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's some shredded orange cheddar cheese. Okay. We like to make them nice and fat. Mm -hmm. Some French's fried crispy onions. Oh my gosh. And then we have our Copalenex kibasi. Oh, this is nice. Right in there. And then this is really the part that is the magic. We want to fold it. And I like to say almost like a pierogi. Yeah. Also native to the area. Yeah, exactly. And then I'm actually going to cut this excess off. Yep. We don't want any extra dough. We want you to have as much filling as possible in there. And then I'm just gonna pull that close to me and roll it up oh. nice and tight. And then the final step is actually over here. We have baking soda water ready, which activates our pretzel dough while oh, it's baking. Okay. So after I dip the pretzel in the baking soda water, I like to just take a little of the pretzel salt and sprinkle it on there. And mm -hmm. we score all of the pretzels for presentation, but also so that way when we're cooking them multiples at a time, we know exactly what it is and the <laughs> guest sees it Good idea. and it's presented to them when it gets to the table. Nice, super. Yes. So this one we're gonna do, actually you got to choose. We're gonna do the pierogi log. Nice. Which is also something that is a little out of the ordinary, but native to the area. So what, what is it a potato pierogi? Or this is a or? yep. This is well. Okay. It's actually potato and cheese. So oh, nice! We, and we Even make better. that all here. <laughs> yep, with our locally grown potatoes. This one I featured during the month of October, and this is a replica of my take on a German chocolate cake into a pretzel log. So Love what it. I did was toasted some pecans and coconut, and put that together to make a dust out of that and I'm using some Nutella that I have set aside. So right now for the fall, because it was so popular, we actually made a pumpkin pie log and decided to keep that as a permanent menu item right now. And we also have a rotating dessert item, which will change depending on the season and the availability of what's on the menu. Now this one will not get salted because it is a sweet pretzel. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So when that comes out, it will just be drizzled then with chocolate and dusted with butter. Now they're ready to go in the oven and I have the oven preset at 425 and they bake for seven minutes in the oven. And here they are, right out of the oven. They look nice fantastic, Daniel. Thank you so much for showing us how to make these. Now we're going to head out and talk to Shannon about the beer, the Black Rock Brewery beer. Thanks again. It's my pleasure, thank you so much.